Hello everyone, my name is Yukin from Ras Aquaculture. In the last episode on the Aquaculture Chemistry series, we spoke about the disinfection of culture water with potassium permanganate. In this episode, we will be talking about the iodine, which is another disinfectant commonly used in aquaculture. Stay tuned! of the iodine is produced from brines that can be obtained from ocean or oil well. Most of the commercially available iodine is sold as solution with different concentration where the solution appear dark brown. Depending on the duration of this infection and location of the culture water, the amount of iodine administrated differs. For a 12 hour long term disinfection, 10 to 20 mg per liter of iodine is required for indoor culture water, while 25 mg per liter of iodine should be added to the outdoor culture water as exposure to sunlight cause the iodine to burn off faster. Overdose of the iodine should be avoided as the is excessive iodine in culture water can corrode the animal's tissue, for example the gear of the crab and shrimp and weaken or even kill them. It is believed that iodine kills bacteria by penetrating through their cell wall, disrupting the microbes DNA and interfere with the production of protein within the bacterial cells. Since iodine is an indiscriminate disinfectant, it should not be added to culture water that has already contained nitrifying bacteria or any other beneficial microbe. For example, culture water grown with biofloc. Otherwise, the beneficial microbe will be wiped off by iodine too. We hope you enjoy this episode on the aquaculture chemistry series. If you have any question, Drop us your comment or email us on sales at rasaquaculture.com. Thank you for watching.